Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print number of days in a given month using switch statement. So consider an example if user is entering 12 which is the December month then we should print the output which is 31. Right. So before we jump into the program let's try to understand the program definition. So we have to print number of days in a given month. Right. So what is the input required in this program? So definitely input is a number, right? So I can just take the number integer number and let's say it's a six. So now based on this number, we have a 12 possible outputs, right? So user can able to enter from one to 12 and we have to print the 12 valid outputs, right? So let's understand this using one diagram. So you can see here user can enter any number from 1 to 12 okay and we have to print the appropriate output right and if user is entering except 1 to 12 any number then we have to print the error message right so let's try to do this program using the switch statement so first of all i will just try to write down the switch statement uh, so we have a switch and i will take the number as a choice and after that i will just try to write down the different cases right so I'll just write down case one. If user is entering one, then we have to print output is 31, right? And we have to write down the break, right? Because we want to break the switch statement if we are matching with this case, right? So I can just write down the second case as well. Let's say case number two, and I can just write down 28 or 29, right? Similarly, I can just write down the case number three and i can just write down um, 3 is the march so it's a 31 right and let's consider only for these three numbers okay and if user is entering except this three number then we have to print the error message so we have a default statement i can just print the error message that enter valid inputs perfect so we have just written this program for three numbers only right 1 2 and 3 so if user is entering 1 it will print 31 if user will enter 2 it will print 28 or 29 if user is entering 3 it will print 31 if user is entering except 1 2 3 then it will print the error message right so now we got the idea that how we can write the other cases as well so let me just try to copy and paste the other cases as well so i will just try to copy and paste all the 12 cases right so case number 1 it will print 31 and case number 12 it will print 31 and there will be a default right so this is our switch statement program to print number of days in a given month right so let me just try to test this program with the number 6 i'll just run this program it will print the 30 days right let me just try to run it with the 16 it should print the invalid Okay, we are getting the invalid. Let me just try to run this with the one. It should print the 31 days, right? Perfect. We are getting the 31 days. So you can see in this program, we are writing the 12 cases, right? So program looks very big. Okay. So can we do something to reduce the program size? So yes, we can able to combine the cases in the switch statement. So you can see here, we have only three possible outputs, 31 days. 30 days or 28 days right only three possible output 31 30 or 28 days right so we can combine the cases where we are performing the same action right so you can see case number one then case number three then case number five then case number seven then case number eight then case number ten and then case number twelve so in all the months we have to print 31 days right and then case number two then we have a case number four then we have a case number six then we have a case number nine then we have a case number 11 so in all the cases we have to print uh, 30 days right so i can just write down here 30 days perfect and we have a one more case that is the case number two right so i can just write down okay case number two we have to write down the 28 or 29 so i can just use this switch statement and 
here I can just write down 28 or 29 right so here you can see we can able to understand from this program that if user is entering any number from this number we have to print 31 days any number from this number we have to print 30 days and if user is entering 2 we have to print 28 or 29 days right and if user is entering number that is not available in this case we have to print invalid input okay so this way we can able to combine the cases in switch statement perfect so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video